Hi, I'm Taylor Moreland with AgriSpray Drones. Everybody wants to know how this terrain following feature on the Agris T30 works. We're going to show you live today with a field that has about 30 foot elevation drop from one side to the next. Let's go take a look. We have our T30 out here running right now. As you can see, it's climbing the hill on the other side of the field. So this field starts with a high side on one side, a low spot in the middle, and a high side on the other side. So right now the drone is at the far end of the field. It's coming back towards us. It's flying at a 10 foot elevation or 10 foot altitude that we set. You notice right now it's dropping down the hill. So there it goes down into the valley. And as it makes it to the bottom of the valley, it's gonna come back up to the other side. Here it goes. There it goes back up the other side. That's pretty easy to tell that drone is keeping its elevation exactly where we set it. So how does it do this? Well, on the bottom of the drone, there's what's called a DBF imaging radar. That's a digital beam forming imaging radar. What that means is there's a, a radar at the bottom of the drone that is actually sensing surfaces. So that radar acts as the terrain following and as the obstacle avoidance radar. It is sending out beams in 360 degrees horizontally from out, out of the drone and also below it. So it's building essentially a topography map as it flies. It's sensing 60 feet in front of it, obstacles and terrain. And it's building out that terrain map as it flies and as it gets to a hill or sees a hill in front of, a, front of it, it'll adjust as it gets there and climb that hill or descend that hill. So you notice on the screen here, you can actually see our altitude. You see that there pretty good? There we go. So there's our altitude right now. So it's set it, it, we set it at 10 feet elevation. You can see it's 9.3, 10. So the lowest it gets is about 9.1, and the highest it gets is 10. We set it for 10. So that means all the way across that field, down one side, up the other, it's never more than one foot off from the ele the, our target elevation that we set at 10 feet. Just think about that concept for a second. Think about this field and how you would apply this field normally if you had to hire aerial application with a helicopter and airplane. There's no way that any pilot can keep that 10 foot elevation within one foot from one side to the next. On long sloping fields, that's no problem, but on fields that are short and have a high degree of slope to them, it's pretty well impossible to do that uh, with any type of manned aircraft. The drone's radar essentially removes all uh, human error out of the terrain following and allows you to fly fields that have a much higher degree of slope at a much higher degree of accuracy. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, the drone does everything for you. I mean, as you can see, I'm not controlling this thing. I just set the elevation, set the speed, and away it goes. And we can actually adjust the elevation on the fly. So right now I have my elevation set at 9.8. I can actually drop that down to four feet. I'm gonna go ahead and slow my drone down a little bit. Hit okay. And here we have the drones flying now at 4.9 feet and it's gonna to continue to keep that elevation the entire time down the hill and up the other side. Now 10 feet's one thing, but five feet, that's a completely different dynamic right there. And we're keeping that elevation within one foot across this sloped field. Just amazing technology. Here we go, we're set it. We set it at 4.9, and we go between 4.5 and 5.4. There's, it's climbing the hill now. Amazing. I should mention, as it's doing this, it's also sensing for obstacles. So with that same radar, it's sensing the terrain in front of it and obstacles all around it. The T-30 also has obstacle avoidance above the aircraft as well. So that means if it senses an obstacle as it's climbing a hill, let's say a grass-backed terrace. If it senses a grass-backed terrace as an obstacle because it has a really high degree of slope to it, then it's going to see that as an obstacle 
And then the upwards op obstacle avoidance radar is going to allow that drone to actually increase in altitude to try to avoid that obstacle. So it'll actually climb an altitude, it'll sense that that wasn't an obstacle, that was actually part of the terrain, and then continue on. So the T-30 has terrain following radar capabilities up to 30 degree slopes. So that should cover most typical farm ground. If you have slopes that are higher than 30 degrees, then what you can do is you can use uh, a 3D flight route. So you actually map the field with uh, an imaging drone. So like a Phantom or a Mavic, uh, you create a point cloud on DJI Smart Farm or DJI Terra, and then you can actually import that 3D flight route into the drone. So you can literally fly mountainous terrain. I mean, slopes up to, I mean, 75 degrees. If you have a 3D flight route mapped, with no pre-mapping, the drone will fly slopes up to 30 degrees. If you guys have any questions or comments, want to learn more about the Agris T30, how to get one, uh, and any other questions about any other features, please give us a call or send us an email, shoot us a text, and we'll get back with you. Thanks.